Whenever we can, we like to protect tree limbs from the friction of a running rope. Of the many devices that can be used to accomplish this goal, we chose a false crotch type rig. This is a Buckingham friction saver. It's made of tough, durable webbing with two rings attached in sewn loops. One of the rings on the green side is smaller than the other. If you're a rock climber, this is probably going to look a bit dicey. After all, there's only one sling here and it's clearly not redundant. However, in the tree world, we have nice round limbs to attach our gear to, no sharp edges, and also no big, big dynamic falls to catch. If you're a rock climber, you might also be surprised to find that you can install this anchor in a tree from the ground. It's an excellent brain teaser to present to your class. Here's how it works. First thing you want to do is toss your throw line over a branch. Then thread one end of the throw line through the big ring. Untie your throw bag from the other end. Thread the throw line through the smaller of the rings and retie the bag. Now, if you pull down on the opposite end, the throw bag will come up against the smaller ring, but won't go through. Keep pulling the throw bag up until you reach the limb. And when you get up there, give it a quick flip, and the whole system will invert into a basket hitch. Now you can replace your throw line with a rope, and away you go. To get this thing down, tie an overhand knot in one end of your rope, and pull that up through the large ring, it won't go through the small ring, and pull the whole rig back down to the ground. If you don't have the bucks to shell out for a fancy friction saver, you can uh, substitute this kind of anchor. Here we've taken a one inch a long piece of one inch tubular webbing, wrapped it around the tree limb three times, and tied it with a water knot. Uh, from those three wraps, we pull down two and attach two carabiners with their gates opposite and opposed. Whenever we have students in the tree needing to anchor but not to move around very much, we use this kind of running figure eight uh, anchor. The running figure eight is tied in a uh, figure eight on a bite in the middle of a 40 or 50 foot static line. Uh, the two tail ends of the rope are threaded through the loop and draped down the tree. Students connect to this anchor by tying a figure eight on a bite and clipping it back to their harness. And they also use a prusik loop uh, attached above the figure eight on a bite. Uh, this is an anchor that we use for uh, early on in the class when students are just coming up into the tree and learning about transitioning from one anchor to another. It's also a nice anchor to use uh, on our overnights when students are sleeping in hammocks or on our tree platform because it's not very bulky. Prusik allows the student to position the tension on their harness uh, more precisely and the figure out on the bite is the safety backup.